Welcome to Artistic Adventures. This is part four of our porcelain doll rehab project, and today we're going to be working on the little girl's dress. So let's get started. I've laid out the components of, of the dress, and I wanted to explain to you how I'm going to put it together so you can follow along. This is going to be the overskirt, and then I have another piece uh, under that that's going to be the underskirt. And I'm going to use some of this fantastic lace that my friend Deb sent to me. That's going to go across the bottom of the overskirt, and then I have this scalloped piece that I'm going to put across a little up from the bottom of the underskirt. And these are going to be the pantaloons, and I have some cute little white lace that I'm going to put across the bottom of those. So that's how it's going to be constructed. And now we're going to have to start sewing it together. Um, this is the bodice, and I have the front part there and then the two back pieces that I'll be sewing together a little bit later on in the video. All right, and also under the sleeve of the bodice, I'm going to put this, I'm going to sort of gather this up and make this sort of uh, muslin color come out in a poof underneath of it with some lace on it. So that's another part of the sleeve. forgot about that. Okay, let's get started with putting this dress together. The first thing I'm going to do is take some of this E6000 Fabric Fuse and place it on the tip of the uh, scallop where it comes up to a point. I'm not going to glue the whole piece down. And hope, I, Actually, this is the first time I've used this product, so I was kind of interested to try it. Um, we'll see how it works, and I'll let you know. But I'm just putting a little dab of it underneath the points there where the scallop comes up and running that across about a half an inch up from the bottom of this sort of um, off-white muslin piece. All right, and I'm going to do the similar thing to the sleeves or the, the under sleeves that are going to be puffy, except I'm going to put this right at the bottom so that what you see will be the scallop part. And that's because I'm going to gather, uh, put an elastic piece up a little bit above that and gather that. So this will be sort of the ruffle of the sleeve. Okay, and once we have that done, I'm going to let those pieces dry. And then we're going to work on, on a couple of these pieces to keep them from fraying. I'm going to start with the bodice. And I'm going to use, this is another new product from, I don't know if it's new for them, but it's new for me, E6000 Fray Lock. And I liked it because it has this little pointed tip that's a little more precise than the stop fray that I have been using. Although I, I still like that product, but I just wanted to try this one out because of the tip. So I'm putting that on the back and the, the ends of the sleeves and across the top part of the neckline. These are areas that I want to keep from fraying based on you know how I'm going to end up sewing them. Also, I'm going to do uh, put some lace across the bottom of these pantaloons so I'm back to using that fabric fuse and this time I am running a little bit of that across the bottom and positioning the lace so that a little portion of it hangs down over the end of the fabric and this will serve two purposes decorative and also to keep that cotton fabric from fraying. All of this fabric is pretty much I think it's all 100% cotton that I'm using so um, now that we've got that done, we're going to attach the lace to the overskirt. And yay, I brought up the baby sewing machine. Instead of sewing this by hand, I'm going to just run a seam across the top of that. And that's really the easiest way to get that on there. And I'm using sort of an off-white thread, so it really it didn't show at all. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and put a gathering thread in this top of this skirt while I've got the sewing machine out. And I'm going to do the same thing to the underskirt and put a gathering thread up there. I'm not ready to gather them right yet, but I wanted to do that while I had the sewing machine out. I'm also running a gathering thread across the top of those uh, undersleeves. And now I'm going to sew the uh, pantaloons together. So I'm sewing, first of all, the side seam, uh, both sides. And then once I finish that, I'll sew the, the inner seam of the two legs. 
and then it's going to be ready for us to put an elastic waist on. So once you get that finished, find the correct size bottle. <laughs> I had to pull out several different bottles that are pretty much the same size as the opening of the pantaloons. And this really makes putting the elastic on, uh, waistband on it a whole lot easier. So measure out your piece of elastic around the waist of the doll, and it doesn't have to be tight, just, you know, pretty much exactly the measurement of the, of the doll's waist. And then I'm gonna sew the, those two ends together to make a circle. And then pull the elastic down over the fabric so that you can take the fabric and lap it over the elastic and then we'll put a seam uh, there of the on the fabric underneath the elastic. If you had to, you could actually sew the elastic to that, but I wanted to create a finished part of the waistband, so I'm, I'm going to roll that down over it. And then you're just going to uh, do some stitches around to close up that seam, and then we'll be able to pull this off and turn it, and we'll have our gathered waistband. This is an easy way to do uh, elastic waistbands or, you know, elastic on sleeves or whatever that uh, are so tiny, it's, you know, it's hard to do. Plus, if you've done this before on adult size clothes, sometimes you can just put the fabric down, stretch the elastic to the length of the fabric, and then just sew on top of it. But that really doesn't work with these tiny pieces. There's just no way to maneuver. All right, so we've got that done, and I'm turning the pantaloons now. And so now we have those finished. They have the little lace at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and put those on our little girl doll. And they look pretty cute. Yep, very nice. We're going to have to do something about her feet. They, She did have painted on shoes, but I'm, not, I'm thinking I'm going to make some shoes for her in another video. All right, now to do a decorative touch to this lace, I'm going to take some of my regular E6000 glue and glue some of these carnelian beads that I had on hand on. They're sort of a, a rusty burgundy color, which uh, matches the little design in the fabric. It has a little tiny uh, burgundy dot in it. And then uh, I'll do the rest of those off camera. Now I'm just going to make a seam uh, to finish the edge of the back. And I'll do that on both sides. So we've got those finished. And then we can put the bodice together. We can sew the shoulder seams, and you sew those to about up to about a half an inch from the end of the the back, so that you have an opening for the neckline. And then once we do the, the shoulder seams, we can go back and do the underarm seams. And after that, we can attach the bodice to the skirt. But first, for the skirt, we're going to have to gather those two pieces, the underskirt and the overskirt. And then once we have those gathered at the same length, we're going to sew a seam down on top of the gathered part to position them together so they'll be easier to sew to the bodice. So that's what I'm doing. And this was a little bit of a struggle for the baby sewing machine on some of the thicker parts of this. So I've decided when I do the um, uh, the sewing of the bodice to the skirt, I'm just going to do that by hand. Also, I made the skirt, I think, a little bit too big. So um, I'm going to measure as I go, and then I'll just cut off the edges that, that are too long. I haven't sewed the back seam of the skirt up yet. I wanted to go ahead and do this. I thought it would be easier to sew it with it straight with it uh, flat out like this. So now I'm just going to take a needle and thread and make some tiny little stitches and I'm sewing just beneath where the gathering seams were and the uh, seam that sewed those two pieces together so they won't show when we turn it. And now that we've got that complete, there's our, our dress with the skirt attached. Now I'm going to hem the top part and I'm just going to fold down that little tiny bit on the top. I don't want to have too deep of a neckline because uh, the way the porcelain attaches to the cloth body of this doll, I don't want that to show. And that's actually pretty close up to her neck. And now I've sewed a little bit up the back seam of the of the dress and um, we'll finish closing it up once we get it on the doll. 
Now I'm doing the underarm seams of the sleeves that I'm going to, uh, the under sleeve that I'm going to put under the uh, bodice sleeve. And once I have that, then I will gather those up at the top. Oh, I forgot. Actually, I got to put elastic in that. So I found another bottle and uh, got a little piece of elastic that'll be around the wrist. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than the wrist, but I just, to try to get it the size of the wrist and then sew it to this was going to be difficult. So it's a little bit bigger, but it'll gather this up pretty nicely. So all I'm doing is sewing the elastic to the fabric. I'm not turning the fabric down on this one. I just want it to gather it a little bit above where the lace uh, uh, is attached to the bottom of the sleeve. And once we have that, then we can turn it and attach, we'll gather up the top part and attach the sleeve underneath the bodice sleeve. So I'll do the second sleeve off camera so we're not wasting time, but uh, we'll finish up this one on camera. Okay, so tied a little knot in that one and pulled it off and turn it. And there's our, our little sleeve with the ruffled wrist area. All right, so now that we've gathered it, I'm gonna push this up underneath the bodice sleeve, and then I'm gonna tack it by hand to the seam of the upper shoulder and the underarm seam. And then when we put it on the doll, we'll just have to make sure that we get uh, the doll's hand through there. And so we're almost finished. Got a, a couple more little finishing touches to go, but um, get, this is coming along pretty nicely, I think. And I'm trying to color coordinate the outfits between the boy and the girl, so hopefully we'll we'll make them look like a really cute little pair. All right, now I'm going to take a, the remaining piece of this lace that I used on the bottom, and I'm not going to make it as long. I want it to uh, match, but I'm, what I'm going to do is fold it half over and then uh, sew it to the collar. So we've got a lace collar th that uh, has the same design on the bottom of the lace as the one that's on the skirt, but we're not using the whole long piece uh, on the collar, just it's too long and it would look weird. But this, when it's turned over, looks pretty cute, I think, and uh, is appropriate for the neckline. And that'll be about it. Um, the only thing that I that's interestingly different about these dolls is, you know, with the cloth body, they're they're kind of like a sack, and they don't have really much of a body shape. So the clothes don't fit the same as they do on a Monster High or or Barbies or or the BJDs uh, that have a nice, you know, bust and a waist and hips and all. It's just sort of this this straight sack-like <laughs> uh, body that you have to fit the dress around. But uh, I think it turned out pretty cute. So there it is, the front and the back. And then we'll be working on some other parts of this doll. But I did want to let you know, my friends, that uh, tomorrow I'm going to have surgery on my uh, left thumb. So I don't know how long I'll be out of commission, but uh, I will be back to making videos just as soon as possible. <laughs> So please stay tuned. We have more to go on this porcelain doll rehab project. We've got to finish up the girl and do the boys costume as well. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me some good thoughts for surgery tomorrow. And please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks and bye.